this video, I'll briefly explain the Gallipoli campaign, also known as the Dardanelles campaign. The plan for the operation arose after the Western Front had developed into a stalemate. Winston Churchill, then the First Lord of the Admiralty, supported the operation as it would enable the Royal Navy to play a decisive role in the war. The plan was for British and French warships to force their way through the Dardanelles Straits that divide Europe from Asia and capture Constantinople, the capital of the Ottoman Empire. The British and the French expected the Turks would surrender and leave the war. This would enable Russia to export wheat from the Black Sea via the Dardanelles and use this income to purchase modern weapons and ammunition for its Eastern Front campaign against Germany and Austria-Hungary. The British-French naval attack was launched on the 19th of February. The naval campaign was suspended in mid-March after the loss of one-third of the fleet to mines and artillery bombardment from the Turkish forts located along the Dardanelles Narrows. The British and the French then decided to land troops in an amphibious operation to capture the forts by land and enable the fleet to sail through the Dardanelles unhindered. This campaign from the 25th of April 1915 until the 9th of January 1916 saw more than 480,000 Allied troops fight the Turkish Fifth Army commanded by German General Lehman von Sanders. These Allied troops included a French Oriental Expeditionary Force comprised of French and Senegalese colonial troops commanded by General Albert Darmand and the British Mediterranean Expeditionary Force under the command of General Sir Ian Hamilton, which included British, Irish and Indian, Canadian, Australian, New Zealand troops to capture the forts and by land enable the fleet to sail through the Dardanelles unhindered. The Allied forces were supported by Russian and Syrian Jews, Egyptians and Maltese labourers. The Allies made simultaneous landings in six locations along the coast. The landings failed to advance far inland. The land campaign began another version of trench warfare in which the Ottomans, who held the high ground, maintained their advantage. However, the Ottoman counterattacks failed to push the Allies off the peninsulas and resulted in heavy Turkish casualties. British historian Peter Hart has described the Allied experience in Gallipoli as endemic military incompetence, lethally combined with inexperienced troops who had no exposure to modern warfare. Following the failure of the Allied August Offensive, General Sir Ian Hamilton was sacked. The British War Secretary, Lord Kitchener, visited Gallipoli and recommended that the troops should be withdrawn. Churchill had already been replaced at the Admiralty in May 1915. The troops were evacuated in December 1915 and January 1916. In total, there were 393,000 Allied and Ottoman casualties. Later in this course, British historian Jenny MacLeod will examine the diverse memories of Gallipoli and in the nations that took part in the campaign.